I'm struggling. Touching a boa constrictor, guys. And we've made it! Our national tree, the booby tree. Oh, Are you filming? This isn't for the camera. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another really, really exciting day here in St. Lucia. We've got a lot planned. We're gonna be visiting lots of parts of the Southwest coast from fishing villages, banana plantations, military bases, and some of the best views. But we're gonna be doing this all with Danny Boy. How you doing, brother? What's up, okay? man, Christian? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's make it happen. Welcome to Castries, the capital. Starting our tour, driving through Castries, which is the capital of St. Lucia. And we've made our way through to Derek Walcott Square. Yes. And we've just been told that the, the huge, huge tree that we've just noticed, the name of the tree is called the Massav tree, which essentially in translation means, I don't know. I don't know. And next, we have just pulled up to the old police headquarters, which is no longer in use. A lot of their architecture did actually rely on wood, which of course meant they were very prone to fires. One third of the streets. Yes, were destroyed by the 1948 fire. And our next stop on the tour is the Hill of Good Fortune, which gives us an amazing view all over Castries. The reason why this area got its name is because this provided the British a really good way of seeing when the French were approaching to invade St. Lucia. How many times did the British invade in the French? Seven times French and seven times British. Wow. So 14 times 14 overall times exchanged hands? Exchanged hands 14 times between the French and British. Directly behind me is the governor's house because St. Lucia is still part of the Commonwealth. So that is where the governor who represents the Queen lives. And this is the great thing about this tour because we were driving through the island yesterday and we were coming across so many things that we had no idea what they were. But fortunately, Danny Boy is filling us in. The driving encyclopedia. That's exactly what he is. And we have driven up to the Hill of Good Fortune and we get constant reminders of the English and French colonization because you will actually notice some of the buildings are built with either stone, which shows the French colonization, and of course, Brits, because they loved to build with bricks. And we have made another stop off to the old military base, which now is where the community college is. In St. Lucia, you can only obtain an associate's degree. From this college? From this college. Mm -hmm. I think it's not letting us in because we're with Nick, because Nick's never been anywhere near a college. Mm -hmm. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Boy, perhaps I'm the only one, perhaps in the whole world, that obtained his PhD degree. You got a PhD? Right here. Oh yes, in St. Lucia. You want to do in what? And in what? driving. And if you want to know what my degree stands for, it stands for what? Pothole dodging. <laughs> PhD. <laughs> So as we're making our way around, we can see lots of different trees with different vegetation growing on them. And we can see breadfruit. And why yes. was that brought in? It was brought in by Captain Bly from Tahiti to feed the slaves. Ooh. Substitute for potatoes. You can bake it, you can roast it, you can boil it, you can make chips out of it, you can make a pie out of it. Every dish you make out of the breadfruit, they all carry a different flavor. And we've made another stop off to Marigo Bay, which is one of the most beautiful bays in the whole of the Caribbean. There are no five-star luxury resorts allowed to be built here because otherwise that would ruin the beauty of this bay. So we have made it to our next stop, which is the banana plantation. It's a fruit when it's ripe, it's a vegetable when it's not ripe. Okay, and the blue bags are to prevent premature ripening from the sunlight and from insects and birds from pecking at the banana. Just like a pregnant woman, eight to nine months. That's the lifespan. So you plant it today, eight months, you have banana. 
Within this travel video and all of my other travel videos, you guys will notice that I love joining guided tours run by local experts. And to book them, I like using my favorite travel booking service, Get Your Guide, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. Now, Get Your Guide is an app. It's on iOS, it's on Android, it's on desktop, and it is really, really simple to use. They have over 60,000 curated experiences in over three and a half thousand destinations worldwide. So the chances are whatever city you're in or traveling to, they will have an experience or an activity that you can go on. The best part about the app though is you can just download the tickets to your phone and you don't have to print out the tickets and collect them anywhere, which saves a lot of time and takes out the hassle out of booking tours. But also another benefit of booking through Get Your Guide is you get skip the line value on a lot of these tours. So no waiting around, more time spent exploring the city that you're traveling to. Again, thank you so much to Get Your Guide for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out all of these tours. I'm gonna to link some of them in the video description below. So let's get back to the video. All right, so it looks like we're gonna actually try some um, local stuff, local yes. produce. We're gonna do some samples of the banana ketchup and banana barbecue sauce. You use banana ketchup and banana barbecue sauce the same way you use tomato ketchup and tomato sauce. So you're gonna sample on your fingertip. Oh, little um, fingertip. Banana ketchup. So this is banana ketchup. I love ketchup. I never imagined it would be infused with banana. See how yeah. it tastes. And this is banana barbecue oh, sauce. Wow. Wow. This oh, is wow. the banana barbecue. It's like distinctly oh like the sauce, but with a oh. banana. Yeah, with like a yeah. banana yeah. flavor to it. It just tastes like ketchup. That's even better. And now that we're awesome. gonna sample the liqueur. So good. We have mm. the banana cream liqueur. You use banana liqueur on your ice cream, your cake, your coffee. Cheers to the banana liqueur. Mm. Oh, wow. And then we so have the creamy. coconut cream liqueur. And we've got coconut cream, which has some alcohol in it. Yes. You use it the same way you use the banana cream, ice cream, cake, coffee. Delicious. Get and you drink. Absolutely delicious. And that one there is the spice cream. It doesn't stop. And I don't want it to. Spice cream. <laughs> and that one there is the coconut rum. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Delicious. This is our local spice rum. You yeah. don't drink until I say drink. All what we have in there, it's all different spices and roots, but they don't have any side effect. They're just natural spices. But our local spice rum, it's good for sinus, arthritis, any pain in your joint, you have a soft throat, you get the cold, any tummy ache. It's good for the young ladies also when they get the cycles. The very smooth drink, when you drink, if you keep your nostril, you keep your throat, and you keep them very warm and nice. Okay? So guys, no sipping, volumes up, one shot. I mean, you've definitely sold it to me, wow. so I cannot wait to taste this concoction. Let's do it. Absolutely beautiful. Addington wow. Lucia, we yeah. also call it our local Viagra too because it was good for the guys. It helped the guys, you know. I don't know, that's good in every kind of way. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking right now more the palate. Went down so nicely, syrupy almost, a little bit sweet, yeah. tasty, and just absolutely delicious. St. Lucian banana, this is what we've been waiting for. This is local, local stuff. So much more flavoursome than yeah. what we get in the UK. Love it. Time to move on. Let's move on. And we are driving through Ansley, which is a fishing village, and it is also very famous for its fish fiesta, which is on a Friday. Friday, nights. Friday nights. As you can see, it's a very beautiful area. There's a lovely beach with some very, very pretty ocean views. What's that, Danny boy? not dead, it's alive and well. This is a boa constrictor, okay. one of the endangered species on the island. Wow, I'm touching a boa constrictor, guys. And you can do the same. I don't want to tempt it, so I think we're going to leave it there. Let's go. Welcome to the place called Class Cassava, the place where cassava bread is, is made. This is the root vegetable, the root, the cassava root. Yes, and it's a process where the guys fix it. 
after it's, it's grated and so on and then it's fixed with the fire below if you're hungry you cannot you know be hungry for too long on this road there's always something to it yeah let's try one yeah so let's try the cassava mixed fruit, fruit cassava which started looking like this and ends up looking like this let's see how it tastes oh wow mm, this is so so good i can't help but think of turkish delight yeah it's really savory it's really nice i like that really one. nice this one is a plain one. What have we got here? This is a plain one without plain. the um, fruit inside it. Yeah, I guess you yeah. Mmm. This one is different. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm a big fan of the fruit. So this is the calabash, our national tree. Oh, we saw the bowls earlier. The bowls yeah. earlier. Okay. Give you another name to call it in case you forget calabash. The mucky stuff inside that is not edible. Back in the days when young girls entering adolescent or puberty, they would use the mucky stuff on the chest, rub it on, rub it on to get bigger boobs. Oh. And their boobs would get as big as the calabash. So today you have my permission, you can call our national tree the booby tree. What have we got down here? This is canaries. Yeah, so we just passed ancillary. This one is called canaries or canawi was named after a cooking pot made out of clay. And that clay pot was introduced to us by the first settlers on the island. They were called the Amerindians, the Carib and Arawak. You, see? you just pulled out a bunch of mangoes. of mangoes. Yeah, so where did you get these from? So my friend down there, she's a she's the owner of this establishment right here. Ah. And she's a vendor. Over 50 different types with a lot of patwa names. And we've got two here. We got two types right now. But we, we have the Julie, which is the sweetest mango. You ready for the mangoes? I'm ready for a mango. I'm ready for a mango. Ready. We got and the... this one is the Julie mango. Julie mango. Have you got a knife? No, we do it like locals do it. So the way we do it, look at me well. Is my ma a mango in my hand? You peel it with your teeth? With your teeth. Peel and do it. Okay, well let's do it let's like try. the local does it. So... Yes. Bite into it. Peel up, peel up, hi. I'm not doing a very good job of this. You'll try, you try, you'll get there. <laughs> Keep working away in your mouth. And then mm -hmm. we All just get straight in there with into the juice. There. Into the juice. Into there. Awesome! Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay. Enjoy your mango. The Julie mango is the juicy mango, and I can absolutely approve. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Right up? Yeah. Oh, there That's how you eat mango. A mango and they keep the doctor away. Juicy. Oh, good. <laughs> That is a proper mango. And it's the first I've ever had. You're kidding me. You've never had a mango before. Oh my god, He's... welcome to St. Lucia. You've never had a mango before. No. So uncultured. Disappointing. So where are, where are we now? Yes, so over here is the beginning of the Edmund Rainforest, the largest rainforest on the island. So we'll be driving right through it and you'll be seeing lots of the bamboos and the giant tree ferns and then you'll be overlooking the Twin Pitons. So we've come to the Beacon restaurant which is highly recommended because of its incredible views over the Pitons and local cuisine. Let's have it inside. This restaurant is a buffet style so you just go get your food. $18 for a full plate of food and you can go back. The highlight has got to be the mango salad delicious but also the chicken it's so succulent so tender and really really tastes authentic and local so what is this called this is the sensitive mimosa grass touch you put it to sleep touch it and it folds up lots of beautiful vegetation in these gardens so lobster claws crab claws and the coconut trees it's a really good indoor plants they clear the air. We've got a Japanese water garden with a lovely little seesaw there. Yeah, these are nutmegs. So you have the mace around the, the nutmeg. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. The scent. Spice. Mm. I know so Grenada yeah. is the land of spice, nutmeg, but St. Lucia, we do have nutmegs as well. If you have a massive headache, like you're great. Put it on a, yeah, sorry, you're great. You put it on a, on a handkerchief, and you tie it around your forehead, ah. and, your and it gets rid of your headache. Well, you, can't, you shouldn't eat a full one, it's very poisonous, though. Very poisonous. This beautiful plant right here is known as the pink torch ginger and you are not allowed to touch it because if you do, 
it will kill the plant. They are allergic to us. So let's go to a breathtaking area now. Let's go see the diamonds waterfall. Not because there are diamonds. If there were, I would not be driving with you today. We're here, the waterfall, the diamond waterfall. So beautiful. So this water comes from the volcano, but it's not warm because it has traveled quite a distance, but it is beautiful here. And you'll notice that there's different colors and that's due to the different minerals that are present within the water. It's warm and not because of the sun, but in fact, because of the volcanoes and the fumaroles underground. Let's continue on. Now to enter these botanical gardens, you will have to pay seven US dollars per person. And also you can pay for an independent tour guide to join you and tell you about all the different vegetation that is within these botanical gardens. It is well worth it. We just did so and we gained a lot of value. Well, let's head back into the van. And our next stop on today's adventure, which is the Tetpool Nature Trail hike. I've already covered it. Oh my God, the weather is so hot. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, Are you filming? This isn't for the camera. <laughs> so since Danny Boy has left us behind, we have been joined by a new tour guide, Siobhan. So are these all mangoes? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're five minutes into the hike. I think I need a breather. And our first stop on this hike is Shoazel, which we can see, which is one of the largest districts, if not the largest district, on the whole of the island, mainly involved in fishing and poetry. I'm struggling. Once I get the cobwebs blown away, yeah. I am going to power on. So that's fine if you can't keep up, because I am a bit of a hikist and yeah. I'm known for my speed up terrain. So just, yeah, don't hurt yourself, please. Yeah, is there something a bit tougher around here in terms of like, you know, more? Yeah. More difficult? Is there a more difficult one? Well, actually, Gropito. Ooh. Nah, cool, I'll have a look at it. Well, half an hour. We're almost there to the top. Uh, half an hour more walking? Yes, we're almost there to the top. Half an hour more walking? Well, five it was down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> half an hour more, I thought we had five minutes. So we better keep moving. Sit down if you don't feel you can do it, seriously. I think I can do it. Mm. I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive about your capability on this you show them the Madeira video there somewhere? Yeah. Top left corner, click that card if you want to see how we performed previously on a hike in Madeira. Let's head up. Right. Nearly there. And we've made it. Wow. wow this is actually stunning. <laughs> This is a must hike and it's really not that challenging. I was putting it on, to be honest, I'm good. And we have just about got to the end of that hike, feeling so much better for it. Siobhan, yeah. my man, thank you for that hike. You smashed it with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being so patient. Now back to Danny boy to head back to the hotel. And there you guys have it. That is the end of this tour with Danny Boy. Danny, this has been absolutely amazing. Oh, my pleasure, man. Thank you so it's much, pleasure, guys. Man. If you want to book this time. tour, make sure you use that link in the video description. You're going to learn so much about St. Lucia, see so many different sites from a professional. So that's it. Thank Listen, you so man. much, Thank bro. you so much, man. I'll see you soon. Well done. And for dinner, we're eating at the top floor, the 14 North. Let's go. Thank you very much. This dinner looks absolutely unbelievable. I've got the tuna, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Nick's got duck. The view's fantastic. The wine's great. Really, really happy. Got my eye on some of your sides. Yeah, well, though, you're so. not going anywhere near. 
like that. But that being said, I think this is a fantastic place to end today's video. So hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video and also subscribe to the channel to watch more every time I post a weekly upload. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.